Hi friends, welcome back to another video. In today's vlog, I'm going to be reading another spooky book in my little Read Spooky Books With Me series. So the book I am reading is The Haunting by Natasha Preston. And I have read a little bit of this book. I'm not very far at all, I'm on page 38. I haven't really got into it. And it's not like it's not interesting so far. I've just been so busy with work and life and the things going on in my brain that I haven't got the chance to actually like sit down with this book and really read it. But so far, like in the in like the 30 pages that I've read, um, the main girl's name is Penny and last Halloween, a bunch, like a, I think it was like three, three kids were murdered from her school um, by her ex-boyfriend's dad and her and her friend were actually at a Halloween store and Penny found another dead body that was on like the anniversary of one of the killings. So basically it's just, that's kind of the premise of it so far, like what I've gotten to know. And Penny really, really still cares about her ex-boyfriend. Everyone thinks it's, it's him or his sister because obviously they have ties to their father, like why wouldn't they do it? So that's kind of all that I've gotten so far, but it's it's intriguing and I hope it picks up because like I've liked a lot of Natasha Preston's books before so I am excited to get more into this one. Also, this is so random but like this book is so floppy. I don't know, I just love how floppy it is. Like it feels so nice in my hand. But again, it's a beautiful day out. I was out earlier and it was a little chilly but it is now like two in the afternoon so I think It'll be nice to sit on my balcony. So we're gonna go do that and read this book. All right, it's update time and I am 42% done with this book and my favorite thing is after reading is going on Goodreads and putting what page you're in, like what page you're on. And then you, you refresh the page and it tells you the percentage. It's just, it's like a little reward for me. And I'm just, I'm obsessed. I love it. So anyway, I am on chapter 13, page 162. And this book is so fast paced. Like it's such an easy read. Um, and I feel like that's the case with a lot of YA novels. I just feel like it doesn't require a lot of brain power and it's super fast to get through, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the book is bad. I'm enjoying my time so far and so far there has been two murders and they're actually copycat murders of her ex-boyfriend Nash. His father is the one that did the like did the murder spree last year and they seem to be copying his pattern. It's not necessarily like in the same way, but it's on the same days and like kind of being found in this like similar places like the second body was found at the pumpkin patch which is where they found the second body during the first murder so so far it's it's pretty good but like with murder books like this I, i'm always like you have to expect like the least like logical person and right now i like i suspect it's like her friend her friend addy i'm like I don't know, maybe it could be her. But also now, um, she's kind of confiding in her friend Zane. They were all friends with Nash until like the murders happened and like their parents are like, oh, you have to stay away from him, blah, 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 blah. And now it seems like Zane has been talking to Nash for a bit and was kind of hiding this from Penny. Um, but she kind of like, she wants, she, like she's been wanting to talk to Nash for a really long time, but like the murders happening has been like, given her that opportunity to do it and she's now confining in Zane because she's finding out that he's also been in contact with Nash but I don't know something is a little suspicious about him I don't know there's something a little off about him and I can't really put like my mind to it but I'm just like I don't know how I feel about you like I liked you in the beginning but now I'm like Something's not right here. But anyway, I'm enjoying this. Um, I feel like I have to work tomorrow, but I have the day off on Thursday. I feel like I could finish this on Thursday. And obviously it's one of those books too, like doing a vlog on it. I'm like, I can't like spoil this for someone if they're gonna read it. But so far it's, it's pretty good. Um, and I have my suspicions and I will keep you guys updated on how it continues to develop. This 
this girl in this book, like, I'm sorry, but she's not smart. Like, baby, there is a killer on the loose and you're about to walk through a corn maze, like a corn, like not even a corn maze. She's just walking through a corn field to go to her ex-boyfriend's house when there's a killer on the loose. What are you doing, babe? What are you doing? TikTok mention. I'm gonna pretend I never read it. <laughs> I don't know why it bothers me so much now. Like it didn't before, but now I'm just like, please, I'm trying to escape this reality. Don't mention TikTok to me. So I'm reading this book right now and I just got to a part with like a quote that really like hit home for some odd reason. I think it's like due to the stuff I'm going through like in my life. And the fact that it's just a like a horror book is crazy that I'm like, oh, this quote hit. But it says, they have no clue how hard it is when you miss someone the rest of the world hates. I don't know why, I just, something about it. I just, I, like, I just, I love that. I don't know why, I love it. <laughs> Hello. Right now I am debating on if I want to read outside. Um, and by read outside, I mean go to the park that's by me, but also it's kind of cloudy out. And if I'm reading outside, I want the sun to be out because it's that like type of temperature outside where it's like, it's nice out if it's sunny. Because if there's no sun, it's kind of chi too chilly to sit outside, if you know what I mean. So it's only like 12 right now. So I'm going to wait it out a little bit. Hello, I decided to go to the park. It is now like 65 or so out and it's like, it's sunny, but I feel like it's a little bit cloudy, but you know, I'm gonna take my chance. So I packed my bag and I think I'm going to run to Starbucks because I'm like, I have to complete this act, like this fall activity and it's only complete with a pumpkin chai tea latte from Starbucks. So I'm gonna go grab that and then I'm going to go read at the park and I'm so excited because ladies we need to ladies and gentlemen we need to romanticize our lives so here we go Hi friends, I just got done at the park. I'm about 75% done with the book and like I was getting to the point where it was getting really good to like, like the point where they were like, like the killer had contacted the main character and was like, "Me, see you at the party tonight. And I was like, and I really wanted to continue reading but it was the fact that it's like, I need to get gas, I need to cook dinner. And, but I could have easily stayed there for so much longer. But anyway, the thing I wanted to rant about um, book-wise is that this girl made her ex-boyfriend call her dad in prison and clearly he didn't want to call his dad in prison who committed all of these murders last year. And if I was him, I wouldn't either. But she was like, you have to do it for me. Like, he's, the killer's targeting me now. You have to find out what he knows. And I'm like, babe, like, don't force him to contact this man he never wants to talk to again after what he's done. And clearly, like, after the phone call, he got nothing from him. I mean, at least like what I know of, but I'm just like, babe, like that was just so rude of you. For what? Like, why did he have to call his, his serial killing dad? I don't understand. Anyway, I'm gonna go home and I'm going to finish the book tonight because there's no way I can't finish it. Like, we're at the climax, we're at the part, like right before we find out who this killer is. And I still have my suspicions about her friends. Like, I'm like, how, c it's, it has to be one of them. Like, it, you know what I mean? It has to be one of them. There's no other explanation. Obviously, I'm not gonna tell you who it is, but that was, those are my thoughts. Um, so, I'm gonna go home now, and I will check back with you guys later. The ending of this book is so, 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 so annoying. Like I wanted to take this book and like throw it across the room. It was that bad. It was just this open ended, like this open ended cliffhanger ending. And I was just like, that's how you're gonna end this book. Really? 
like that and I'm supposed to just like make up a scenario about what happened at the end of this book that's not that's not what you're supposed to do in books like you're supposed to give me like like you couldn't write me an epilogue you couldn't tell me what happened it's just incredibly frustrating the ending of this book was incredibly frustrating if you read it you know what I mean but in saying that, this book was not bad. I gave it a 3.25 stars. I was entertained, I was having fun, I couldn't put this book down. It's YA so it reads really quickly and it doesn't take a lot of brain power to get through. And even at the end, I appreciated that there was a twist because I feel like a lot of mysteries, like a lot of like, uh, like mystery, horror, like serial killer books that I've read, I'm just, I find them predictable like especially if you read a lot of them you're like oh I can kind of guess who the person is like who the killer is gonna be but I found that this one I didn't do that like I had my assumptions but they weren't necessarily correct so and there was like a little twist at the end that I was like oh okay I see what you did there and I approve I really enjoyed it so I think that this book is definitely worth your time reading like during spooky season because it takes place during Halloween because the murders are like on Devil's Night and Halloween and everything like that. So I think it's super fun to include in your like TBR for the month. However, the ending, the ending is just awful. It's so bad and I just like, I'm like how did you get away with this? Like how did your publisher just let you end your book like that? And like I feel like part of me is like did she do it just for like people to talk about it? But like it's just it's so annoying it's so annoying but yeah besides that i like this book and i still really like her writing and everything so i have the fear by her and i really want to read that one um so hopefully i can pick that one up soon but i am going to hop over and read agatha christie's halloween party so this is another kind of murder mystery and yeah, I'm gonna read that in the next little vlog. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun and I will see you all when I read Halloween Party.